Do re mi fa so sisters fox. If we could run it, if we could run it back, and do you wonder? If we could run it back, if we could run it, if we could run it back, and do you wonder? If we could run it back. I have to get ready and leave the house by 7.30 so I can make it to my work on time. So in the meantime, I'm eating an egg, a hard-boiled egg, or two hard-boiled eggs, and I'll eat a banana too. I boil this while I get ready, so it's just easy for me to eat. Also, while I peel this egg, let me talk to you about my schedule. So on Mondays is actually the busiest for me, and you'll see in a bit, because I drive to work, which is in downtown, and then I go back to school to take a class and then I go back out to take CC class. I take an evening class called physiology and I actually have an exam today. So that's why I stayed up late yesterday to study. I need to study more and I think I'll do that between when I get back to work and then going to CC. So my schedule for this quarter I'm a full-time student and also a part-time worker, and I'm graduating this quarter. I only need to take three more classes here at SB, and then after that, I walk the stage in June. And actually, I'm gonna go dress shopping for graduation pictures on Thursday, so you guys can see that. So about my work, I am a medical assistant at a dermatology clinic, and I started last week on Tuesday, and there's a huge learning curve that I have to get through. Like, I don't understand the systems that they use, and I don't know how to scribe, and I don't know the administration processes. But my coworkers and the doctor that I work with are very friendly, so they help me. But right now, I'm just like shadowing people, seeing how they do stuff. I don't have time to eat this banana, so I'm gonna eat it in the car. Let's go! It takes me about 20 minutes, so I'm gonna be a little early, but that is okay. I made it to my work, and I will let you know how it goes after 12 p.m. Bye-bye! Hi guys, I just finished work, and it's 12 o'clock right now, and I actually just drove back home, and work was good. It was pretty slow compared to the other days that I worked. I actually learned a lot this time because since it was so slow, the MAs were able to teach me what I had to do. And I'm getting a little familiar with scribing. It's still a little difficult for me because it's hard to catch what the doctors are saying. But during this work shift, I don't think the two eggs and banana was enough because I was starting to feel really, really hungry. So I think I need to eat a bigger meal in the morning. I have class at 2, so I need to hurry up and eat lunch, and then I need to study for my test tonight.
on the way. Uh, we have I was tired. And I need to stay up to do homework. And then you to talk to one more oh, driving again to go to my CC class. This exam is physiology. I usually wake up earlier if I have a full day of working, which is the case today. I'm making lunch right now. That's why I woke up a little early. I think I need to make some coffee because I am very tired. For lunch, it's dumplings. And I'm just gonna pack it in. I actually don't know how much I'll eat. So I just pack more than necessary. It is very sunny outside, but I did go to Starbucks and this is what I got. A vanilla sweet cream cold brew. <laughs> I told them to put a little bit of sugar in it. It is definitely not sugary. Now I will go to work, so I'll see you during my lunch break. It is lunchtime. I am back from work. Today was very tiring, as I expected. However, it has been pretty fun because I'm starting to get really acquainted to what we're doing. And also I'm doing some stuff on my own too. Like I had to process a lab earlier. That's why it's a bit late into lunch because I had to stay a little bit behind to finish up a lab thing because I'm really slow at it. And I don't think the caffeine was hitting me because I was getting pretty exhausted. I think the afternoon shift is gonna be a little bit more tiring. It's always like that actually. After lunch, I get really tired, but I'm almost done. I'm halfway there. Hi guys, it's the end of my shift and it's actually 5.30 and I have to make this quick because I actually have a meeting to attend to for my club KCM and I am late so that's why this is going to go really fast. Um, I am pretty tired and I have to go Costco shopping after the meeting and then I have to do more assignments because I wasn't able to yesterday. But yeah, the caffeine is hitting me now instead of hitting me when I needed it during the shift. So I'm a bit jittery and still tired. But anyways, I have to go to my meeting now. It's at my place, so bye-bye. Say hi, guys. Hi. hi. He's making us be in the meeting. Huh? After the meeting, we went to Costco, and now we're at L&L. And this is my thing. Looks good. Good morning. It's about 8 o'clock right now and for today I have to go to class at 9.30 and then I have to go back to work. Today is my last day of working for this week and it's gonna be a half day so it's just 1 to 5. And then I have to go to my CC class because I have to do a lab. So like Monday, this day is gonna be a bit busy but after today Thursday and Friday, I'm off, so it's gonna be more chill, and then I can catch up on homework that I missed, and study for things that I didn't study before. By the way, I'm wearing my Snuggie. It's a nice, like, blanket coat, and I like to study in this because it's really nice and warm. Also, fun fact, my work gives me free samples. So I have this small Neutrogena bottle, a small hand cream bottle, and a small eczema relief bottle. And I got more, but I gave it away to my friends. I'm actually a little tired. I'm thinking of skipping class. I looked over the slides for today and it seemed pretty comprehensible. I think I'm just gonna do a little bit of my homework and then go back to my bed and then wake up in time for lunch and then work also last night i fell asleep at like 10 ish 11 ish because i was just so exhausted 
yesterday really drained me I'm so excited for tomorrow and Friday because that's my days off I'm so ready I have to go to work soon so I have to make dinner I'm not going to be able to come home since I have CC class I packed my sandwich and I made some tea for dinner I forgot to film earlier, but I'm actually done with work. It's five o'clock and I'm in the car. I'm already at the CC because I have class at six. So I'm just gonna eat dinner here in my car, which is not bad because look at my view. Look how crazy this view is. This PCC is literally right at the beach. It's so nice. And the grass is so green over there and the sky is so nice actually. And the ocean is so nice. And there are a bunch of people like sailing I'm slightly tired. Earlier when I was going to work, I was super tired and I really did not want to go to work. I realized that afternoon shifts after lunch are the hardest because I get like food coma and I really just want to sleep. So afternoon shifts are hard, but today it wasn't too bad. The doctor is trying to make me scribe more. So when I get into the room, the doctor goes into the room and then my MA colleague goes in with me and then they like hand me the computer. I'm like, and I like type all shakily because it's so scary and I usually miss like two things or three things and they have to be like no, you have to go there anyways it's still a little difficult for me but I am learning hi guys just a little update it's 12 o'clock a.m. and even though I was really tired I started editing a vlog and I got really into it and I just realized it was midnight until now. I've been having fun doing it. This is the powder puff one, but I should go to sleep soon. My class is at 9 o'clock. I'll see you tomorrow. It's such a wonderful day outside. So right now, I'm gonna pick up my friend Diane and then we're gonna go dress shopping because we have a graduation photo shoot coming soon in like two weeks. So we're gonna go dress shopping and then we're gonna look at the locations where we're gonna take pictures at. So it's gonna be a packed afternoon. G's here! Hi guys, long time no see. Yeah, if you don't remember, she was my past roommate. This is gonna be a day in our life shopping for our grad, grad dress. dress because we have one week to find a grad dress no it's two weeks wait i thought it's next week april 29th that's next week girl <laughs> this one was nice but we're gonna look around some more first tone we need to take a break. Yeah, so our break consists of gelato. Yeah, with whipped cream. Mine is blood orange and mint chip. Mine's mint chip and mango. It's really good. It's so good. It's you can really taste the mint. We got a winner. We got a winner, guys. We got a winner. What's it gonna be? You guys will see later. See later. This girl came into a balsamic tasting. But it tastes good. Lemon? Yeah. Little, little. Actually, it's just. Yeah. It tastes good. It is good. I like that. Mmm. We just did four hours of shopping and only I got something. Yeah. So she needs to find hers later. I still have a week, guys, so don't worry. Our feet are killing I'm us. I'm so dead. And now we're gonna go to the beach to figure out where we're gonna take our grad pictures. Mm -hmm. oh. It's 92 degrees outside. I think it's just outside the car because of oh. the parking garage. It says 67 right here. No, 67 is my control. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. This is location number one right in front of the Hemley Gate. This is gonna be our second spot right there. How are we gonna cross? It's 
so update we tried to go to the beach right now mm -hmm. but we don't know if we have to pay for the park or we're gonna get ticket it's so like we're just gonna keep it safe yeah we're just gonna keep it safe in one location at mines it's called campus point it's here on ucsb it's pretty nice we need a beach picture yeah with the champagne it's gonna look good yes yes but that's basically all we have for you today thanks guys for watching and coming along to our dress shopping episode uh -huh. we'll see you guys next week for our grad pictures hi guys so today is a friday and guess what came in the mail it's a kinko ball some sisters box is partnering with kinko again i think we partnered with them last year their products are actually really nice and convenient and we would like to share the joy with you guys. I'm so excited. I've been waiting for this. Da -da. So Kinko is actually a company that sells prepackaged smoothies. And all you gotta do is add milk or water to it. And you get this nice little shaker to carry your smoothies on the way. So I got the pack of 20 smoothies and I think I got one of each flavor. Ta -da! See, the smoothie packets come in powder form and there's flavors such as ultra greens, matcha green, and like other things in here. I think the new ones are... I don't remember, there was a lot of new ones, but I know for sure that chocolate mints was not in there. So I'm excited to try this one. I know I will be using this well during my work. And they're super simple and they're really tasty, so... That's why I was excited to receive this. If you use the code SOWN20, you'll get 20% off. And if it's your first order, you get 10% off. So altogether, that's 30% off. How lovely. I know I will not be disappointed when I open one of these, which I will now because I actually have to go to class at 9.30 and right now it's about 8.30. So I have an hour. This will be my breakfast for now. What I'm drinking is called Blushes, and it has mango, papaya, strawberries, passion fruit, a slice of orange, lucuma, carrot, a slice of beet, a slice of apple, a pinch of cayenne pepper. Voila! names on the board and we're just waiting for the results. Aren't you scared? I'm terrified. <gasps> we didn't get chosen. We didn't get chosen. Right now it's like 5 and we just went to the gym and now we are at the beach because today is really nice as you can see. Look what I brought! I brought melons and then I brought coconut water! Woo -hoo. Feels like a vacation already but it's not. Today is ending with Nay Young and Goldie. So that concludes the week in my life. Thank you guys so much for watching. I had such a busy week this week, but I think I will be able to adjust to my schedule more once I start working more. But yeah, that's what my schedule looks like as a full-time student and a part-time worker. So I hope you enjoyed and I'll catch you guys later. Thanks for watching.